crack gonna be one jobber here and welcome back to the channel and in today's video target has brand new legacy booster packs these cost fifteen dollars you get two packs in it and it looks like you always get an lob pack and then in the back i believe that's an ioc pack it could potentially be an mrd pack we will find out my target has yet to get these in a friend of mine's target that lives more down south he did so he bought these, I paid him back, and he shipped them over for us so we could do today's opening. But before we get into this opening, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And we're also going to be opening up two of these Legendary Duel Season 2 boxes as well. But let's get into that giveaway. And that giveaway will contain Oblis the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and the Winged Dragon are all. But I mean, that's just one giveaway. I mean, we have to do, we have to do another one. Okay. So our next giveaway is from our epic gift exchange from Cyber Knight. As you can see, this Chaos Emperor Dragon looks absolutely insane. Going along with his counterpart, the unstoppable Black Luster Soldier, two of the most powerful Chaos Monsters to ever exist. But wait, I mean, I was reading your guys' comments and some of your top favorite cards were those along with Relinquish and its ritual spell card. Same kind of just godly rarity. Absolutely stunning looking. So we're going to be doing three giveaways in today's video. And I'm going to announce all three of these winners in the comment section of our next video. So to enter into this contest, all you have to do is be a subscriber. Hit that bell so you get notified. Comes in handy so you know when I announce the winners. Give this video a like. Share this video with your friends. You can just take a picture of it and put it on your story on Instagram. Tag me on there. I would absolutely Love that. Comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you see in today's video. And without any further ado, let's get cracking. And if you have an Instagram, you can follow me on there. Say hi, and I will always say hi back. All right, so here we go. $15 each. Your target may have or may not have these. Mine does not. But some of my friends' targets do. And I've been noticing people posting them on Facebook, so I know they exist out there. But before we pop into these, I think we have 10 of these blister packs here in total, so it'll be 20 of these booster packs. Let's open up the Legendary Duelist Season 2, featuring Mai and Sento Kaiba. I think this will be really awesome. There are some incredible reprints in here and some awesome dice as well. Well, you get one dice per box, and it is random. Let's see what is inside this mystery box for us today. Hopefully, we get something epic. Oh, that is a cool looking dice. And then there is a promo in here. Oh, right on. The Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. Nice. I didn't. Oh, and it's an alternate art. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely insane looking. Gosh, what a gorgeous card. We'll put that up there, and then we have our blue transparent dice, which looks absolutely insane as well. Where's the little symbol right here? There it is. The blue eyes white dragon on the side there. Gorgeous. And then we have our two booster packs, and these contain 18 cards, which is pretty neat. It's like two booster packs rolled in at two one. So let's go and take a look and see what potential godly pulls we're going to get. Well, obviously, we're going to have some pretty cool, I'm assuming some Harpy and Dragon stuff in here, probably along with some other cool reprints. Yeah, we got some Black Wings in here. Very nice. Black Wings is one of the most powerful decks to uh, come out, especially back in its era. Well, that's a cool, that's a cool little reprint right there, the Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. All right, so our first foil, the White Stone of the Ancient Ultra Rare. Very cool. I think this thing has had one reprint uh, before. That's our first foil there. So we have a, how does that, is that a green name? A Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon is our, I forget what, what rare this is called. It's, it's basically like an ultra, but it's not. They have its own little uh, rarity because of its name. Very, very nice. And then we have another, we have this, one of the Cyber Dragon cards. This is absolutely an incredible looking card. Gosh, that is beautiful. Wow. So those are three foils. So these are uh, really nice because you are guaranteed those, you know, not those exact ones, but you're guaranteed three foils in every single booster pack, which is nice. I, uh, I purchased these two boxes from my local card shop. They cost $15 each. So not too bad. I mean, obviously they're a little bit expensive, but I mean, you get the promo card, which is nice, and you get that dice, which is really cool as well. It's a nice little added bonus. Oh, the 
Dragon Spirit of White. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize they uh, did that as a reprint in here. That's very cool. We got the Priestess there. Moving over to our first foil. The Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ultra Rare. Man, that is a little bit of a classic. That's beautiful looking. So that is our Ultra. Oh, <laughs> right on. We got the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. That's actually really lucky. One of the better foils that we could pull from here. That is gorgeous. So this is its... Uh, was it second reprint, I believe? And it has a, uh, a I wanna say it's a purple name. Like it's kind of blue, but I think it's purple. That's just really nice. And we've got another Blue Eyes Chaos Max, oh no, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. This is Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, okay. Very nice, I thought that was the same card, just a different art. <laughs> I was incorrect. And, oh, this, this kind of reprint, that was originally a, uh, what, Secret Rare, right? Interesting. Yeah, some of the cards they reprinted in here was a, uh, was not expecting. All right, so those are our our first foils right there. So not too bad. Got those six hollows out of here. The blue eyes alternative white dragon, really nice. Gosh, these are beautiful looking cards. I love all the dragons. <laughs> we got so many of them. All right, so on to our next box here. Let's go and see what's inside here. I think there's a dice that's a little bit more, what is it? I think it's this white one right here. I think that white dice is the one that's kind of hard to get. If my memory serves me correctly. Let's go and see, oh my gosh, there's a flap of cardboard in here. This is what you, okay. So you see this cardboard that's in there that's pushing against everything? This is the problem that I'm having. All right, we're just gonna try to dump these out. All right, so we got the exact same dice. We have two of the Blue Eyes White Dragon transparent blue dice. And then we got the Bingo Machine Go as our secret rare, very nice. And then our two booster packs, let's see. We can with our luck. That was pretty lucky though, getting a, an alternative white dragon right there from, uh, so that was a really good start. Let's go and see how we do over here. Oh, this is a nice little reprint. It came from originally from a structure deck. It was getting pretty expensive there for a while too. It was like a $6 card, I think. Oh, that is cool. So here we go, getting a little bit of harpy love. So the first one, we <laughs> had a bunch of dragon cards and now we're getting a little bit of harpy love right here. Very nice. And then we have a, a black wing. I think this might be one of the newer ones. Very nice. I'd have to go and read its, uh, See if that, that card's worth playing in the Blackwing deck, so I should say. The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon right here. This is the original, yeah, this is the original art when it first came out. That's really cool. Uh, obviously, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon are two of my favorites, from especially from watching the series and getting me into the card game itself. Very nice. That is a beautiful looking card. I think that is my favorite version of uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is this, this art of it. Really, really nice. I had it. I had it before it was released into the TCG. I got it from, uh, I think I ordered it on eBay. It was, just, uh, it, was in, uh, it was in Japanese. Put that in my binder for the longest time. Had Exodia and then Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Then I ended up getting the God card, which is really cool. Super excited about that. They were really hard to get back in the day because they were like those game promos and they were, <laughs> they were difficult. But that was the binder. The first page anyway. It's nice. We have a Black Rose Moonlight Dragon Ultra Rare. So this thing has had a few reprints now. It's a little bit surprising seeing this one get a nether reprint. And then we have what is this Rage with Eyes of Blue. That's cool. We can look at the look at their eyeballs. <laughs> like a little twinkle to them. That is a little bit creepy having that thing come at you. Oh my gosh. Sage with Eyes of Blue. So we got a little bit of uh, blue eyes love in this pack. All right. So not too bad. It was nice to see all these uh, all these different reprints and some new cards in here too. Really nice. Okay, well, and here we go. That's time for us to move over to the main event of the evening. And that is going to be opening up these. I'm actually really excited about this. I could not believe it when my friend sent me a picture when he was over at his Target. If he had these, I immediately checked my Target. My Target does not have them in as of yet. We will try to find some later on. Maybe mine is getting a little bit later. Oh, that's not too bad. So we have end up getting a Ultra Hand Trap. Very cool. Okay, we'll put that over there with our, and what do we get? So it was an Invasion, so maybe all these are gonna be the same with one Blue Eyes pack and then one Invasion of Chaos pack, which isn't bad because there's people on eBay that are getting these repacks and this is like with the reprinted version, you know, you cut the rip tabs or they're, they're newer. I think they're from 2010. And people are selling them on eBay for outrageous amounts of money, like $30 for these, so. 
<laughs> there, save yourself some money, guys. Go to your Target and pay $15 and get an extra booster pack and a card for free. So, there you go. And here we go. You're going to be noticing a lot of normal monsters because that's how LOB was. There's some incredible cards like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Exodia, and then some really powerful spell cards in here as well. But we end up getting one of the fusions, which is nice because we need those instant fusion targets. I have this card as a, as a misprint. It's like, I think it goes right down the middle or sideways, something like that. It's like split. <laughs> it's really weird. I still have it. I have some like random misprint cards I put in a little binder. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so here we go. Invasion of Chaos. Probably one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh sets, if not the best Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever come out. You got Blackluster Soldier, Chaos Emperor Dragon, which I'm giving away to you guys, actually. And Dark Magician of Chaos, which I have yet to ever pull from a booster pack. So maybe we'll, that'll change today. So we have a Soul Tiger. It's a really cool looking card. Gigakins, this is a nice little, uh, nice monster that are running for the, what was it, the Earth, Earth deck? The Rock deck? Ooh, a Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell and the Sacred Crane. Very nice. So no foil out of our first one, but we have quite a few more of these to go. So it'll be, if they're all the same, we'll be opening up 10 LOB booster packs, which is not too bad. It's almost like a half a box. And then 10 IOC packs. So again, this is from my friend's target. Nice, an Ultra Spell Canceler. Very cool. I ran this uh, combination with Mirror Wall back in the day so they couldn't attack over them and they, they couldn't play spell cards. It's kind of cool. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I don't know if these are all going to be exactly the same. I don't know if my when my target gets them in, if they're going to be like this as well. This might have been just how his are. Maybe they're all like this with one blue eyes and one invasion of chaos, which is really cool. Again, it's a lot cheaper than trying to buy these booster packs over on eBay. So we got the green Maju here. It's a nice, very awesome common. We got the Mad Dark of Darkness. 1900 attack, vanilla monster. <laughs> the big koala, it is really big. 2700 attack. Oh, right on. So this is actually a really good pull. Manager the 10,000 hands. This will be a card I'll <laughs> toss the price up on because that is uh, that is worth it. Yeah, one of those. I mean, you sum normal summon that, you can add one. It's for the ritual decks. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best recruiting monster. You normal summon it, you add one ritual spell card or ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So, I mean... How can you go around there and you can't add either or? So, so powerful. The Mammoth Graveyard. Very cool. Book of Secret Arts. Metabat. And Spirit of the Harp. So still, no foil as of yet. <laughs> Same common pull from that last pack. All right, on to our next. Hopefully, man. I'm really hoping that we end up pulling a foil. That would be... Epic. Could you imagine if we pull like a blue eyes white dragon from one of these? Oh my gosh. That would be crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. A black rose dragon. I have yet to be disappointed with the foils that they have given to us for free. Nice little added bonus there. And we're just going to keep on opening up the IOC pack first. Except for the first one. I was, I was antsy and open up the blue eyes pack first. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Spirit of the Pot of Greed. That's cool. What is this? Well, this card is raised face up attack position. If a player activates Pot of Greed, draw one more card. That's kind of neat. Except for Pot of Greed being banned. <laughs> we have a Chaos Sorcerer here. Very nice. One of, one of the cards that I ran in my old school Chaos deck. Curse Steel Forbidden Spell. Yet again. Very nice. So we have two Curse Steels. Maybe we'll pull a third one out of our booster pack. A nice little play set of them. It's always a nice little spell card to have for the, the old, good old side deck. For those decks that are really spell reliant where they need to have a certain spell card go off for them to win. Mammoth Graveyard. Another book of secret arts. Very cool. And... Dragon Capture Jar. Oh my gosh, when I was first playing my structure deck, my friend had this flip against me and it was so annoying. <laughs> Oh, good old days. I was first learning how to play the card game. I still remember that to today. Okay, on to our next. Let's see. Man, we have yet to pull a foil. Come on. Let's go and tap this right. Jerry Beans, man. Give me your luck. Well, at least we're getting this one, the one foil right here. So we have a different dimension ground as our ultra rare that they gave us here. And obviously, the looks like it's going to be the same packs every time, which I am okay with. These are two of my all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh sets. It's going to happen. We're going to pull something epic. Just building up to it. Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Let's go see what the LOB booster pack has. Ooh. 
the fiend's hand mirror all right let's go and see what the good old legend of blue eyes booster pack in here there's some awesome spell cards you got monster born pot of greed dark hole raigeki skull servant spell cards like mountain as well all right, oh, we're gonna get our first foil, Gaia the Fierce Knight Ultra Rare. Oh my gosh, that is actually insane. And I think it looks really good too. This might be one of those cards that's uh might be worthy worthy of the old uh, PSA mail-in. Not bad. If this looks, if the borders are good, this could potentially get a ten, and that would look really awesome sitting on the shelf, all all cased up. That is epic. Right, we've got a high five to that one. I mean, that is awesome. So no foil, and then we end up getting a ultra rare, Gaia the Fierce Knight. So we're sleeving up in these penny sleeves. I had someone ask, why do you use the penny sleeves? Well, this is the kind of sleeves that PSA wants you to mail them in because they are very soft and less chances of the corners being nicked and whatnot, and that is why I'm using penny sleeves on these cards. I, could, I will potentially grade to answer the question. There you go. So I know, it's like, why would you not just use one of those KMC Hypermatch sleeves that you always use? Well, that is a good question. <laughs> PSA wants you to put them in penny sleeves. So, I'm thinking about grading this card, so I'm going to put it in a penny sleeve first while I consider it. Because that will be really awesome. And what do we have here for our foil? Oh, another hand trap. Nice. The Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Really cool. Yeah, I have yet to be disappointed with any of those. Wow. So we have Guy of the Fierce Knights, our first foil card from our vintage booster packs, or uh, reprint of vintage booster packs, whatever you want to call them. That's the old packs. It's the same cards, just newer. So the Ultra Evolution Peel. So, but we have yet to pull a foil from Invasion of Chaos. Let's go and see if we can change that around. But, moving over to the LOB, this booster set, I mean, the pa pack itself looks absolutely epic. You got the Pharaoh, and you got Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is a little bit weird they put the Blue Eyes White Dragon on there, because it's not uh, a, th a Pharaoh card. I mean, it would have been a little bit more fitting if they would have put, like, the Dark Magician on there, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, back-to-back falls. Curse of Dragon, another, this is a big key, well, both of them are. So Yugi runs this one, and Yugi runs this one. It, it, that is so awesome. And it, yeah, the borders look at this look really good on this one too. This could potentially be another card that we mail in. I'm gonna do a video showing you guys all the cards I'm thinking about mailing into PSA. Well, I am gonna be mailing into PSA once I get them all ready in their hard case. I have a lot of cards. I've been building up over the last couple of years now. That's gonna be awesome. Wow. Two LOB foils. Start out a little bit slow. We are finishing strong. That is epic. All right, so we're gonna knuckle to that one. And let's get this thing sleeved up into one of those beautiful penny sleeves. They are very soft, very oversized, low odds of nicking a corner. <laughs> that is epic. Right on. All right. There's our rare. So you can tell right there, a good example. If you're opening up a old booster pack, you only will get either a rare or a foil. You saw how we had a foil and we had a rare. That's a good uh, indication that they are a reprinted one. Also, I mean, the rip tab itself, they don't have those on the old packs. They are just smooth on top. Again, I believe these were came out in 2010. So they, I mean, they're, they're still pr pretty old. Oh, Ultra DD Crow. Nice. One of the best hand traps to ever come out since it's come out. Okay, let's move over here. Let's go and take a look. Soul Tiger. The, the Robin Zombie. So still being very stubborn. But LOB has been giving us some incredible love. So we've gotten two normal monsters. And you know what? There's other normal monsters I'd love to pull. You know what I'd love to pull? A Blue Eyes White Dragon. A Red Eyes Black Dragon. A Dark Magician. Exodia. I mean, there are some... I mean, we pulled two. Why can't we pull one of those other ones? Let's go and see if we can do that right now. So far, we've been <laughs> having some uh, good luck with those 
LOB poles. I have one of these that's misprint too. It's like cut right down the middle and it's like his coloring's all weird. I should go and show, oh my gosh, there's no way. Mystical Alpha Super, so three LOB booster packs in a row that we have pulled the foils from. That is insane. All of them being normal monsters too. It's building up guys. Ultra, super, super. We're gonna pull all the normals. We have some more booster packs to go. We have what, four more LOB packs. That is insane, wow. That always gives me fond memories of watching Yugi. He was getting his life points low, and he said the mystical elf was in his graveyard chanting a spell. And he ended up gaining some life points back. <laughs> I loved all these random things that were happening in the in the matches on the original series. Very cool. Okay, so there, there it is. We have three foils. All of them from LOB, which I would have never thought. I would have thought they would have been from IOC, if anything. Mystical Elf, Curse of Dragon, and Gaia the Fierce Knight. And what do we have here? Okay, well that foil's not the greatest, but it's not terrible either, because it just takes two monsters, just a little, nice little generic. So it's still not bad. Not too bad. And let's go and open up this Invasion of Chaos. Let's go and, it's, it's, I mean, it's time. Let's pull a Chaos Emperor Dragon. And just end everything right now. Ryo Cookie. That's a good start. Two really good monsters in a row. Oh, and we end up getting a foil finally. Freed the Brave Wanderer. I actually ran this in one of my light warrior decks way back in the day. I was going to say, I think I had Sh Shining Angel in it as well. So, uh, once per turn, you can remove from play two light monsters in your graveyard. Destroy one face up monster on the field with higher attack than this card. So it's really, really cool. And his attack wasn't too bad either. 1700 attack, level four. You can reinforce it of the army for it. Really nice card. That is epic. I'm gonna put that in a penny sleeve anyway. I don't know if I'd grade this, but I mean, it's so cool. I know it wouldn't be worth much more, but it doesn't really matter because I think it'd just be really cool just to have it in a graded case. So Sacred Crane. Yeah, because I'm mailing in some cards that people are gonna be like, why are you mailing that in? Because I just wanna have it in a case. I think it would look cool. It's not all about the money. Good old Jobber just likes the cards. And I think it looks cool when they're in a PSA case. Why not, you know? Skull Servant. Oh my gosh! There is no way four halls in a row pulled one of the best spell cards to ever be printed, a ultra rare Monster Reborn. Wow. These LOB packs are insane. We got a high five to that one. That is absolutely epic. Oh my gosh. LOB, ultra rare, monster reborn. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. Man, we had a dry spell there in the beginning and now we are finishing strong. LOB has been putting in some foils. Oh my gosh, so we're at three, this will be four foils right here. I mean, when you open up an LOB box, you get like five hollows out of it. So I mean, if we pull one more hollow, <laughs> We basically got enough foils of what would be inside of a booster box. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right, so we have three more. Three more of these to go. That means three more IOC packs and three more LOB packs, which have been absolutely nuts in today's video. Let's go see, oh nice, Denko Sekai. I remember when this card first came out as a ultra rare, they were worth hardly anything, so. I just held on to the ones that I got from my case, and then I ended up they ended up going up way up in price. So I hooked up all my friends because they wanted to use them. A common stumbling, a very nice card. Ran this in my old school clown deck. Oh, I think this guy is trample. Uh, during the battle between this attack and defense position monster, inflict de defense lower than the attack of this card. Inflict damage to your opponent. Yep, it is. So you tribute and attack over a scapegoat. It's 2,400 attack. They're taking 2,400 to their life points. Cards like that is scary. Okay, let's move over to our LOB booster pack since... Uh, the last four of these packs, we have pulled a hollow. Let's go and see if that will be a common trend right here. But will this be five LOB foils in a row? We'll find out. The Trial of Nightmare. Fellow Wind. Nope, we have the Armed Ninja, which I love ninja cards, so I am okay with that. We have two more booster packs to go. Let's go and see 
if we can get ourselves an epic LOB foil, another one. So we have four so far. And oh my gosh, that would be insane if we ended up getting another hollow. Okay, so let's see what the guaranteed foil is. And it's Artifact Lancia, ultra rare. Another really epic card, seeing a, a lot of side deck play. IOC has been the stubborn one. We've only gotten one foil from that. Uh, Freed the Brave Wanderer, which I have some good fond memories of. Another Chaos Sorcerer, that's number two. And another Ninja card, very nice. And a Crimson Ninja. Chaos end there. So no foil out of that. Let's go move over to our LOB pack and see if we get, get lucky here. My friend was stuck in traffic for over an hour <laughs> getting these booster packs for me. Crazy. Oh my gosh, the left leg of the Forbidden One Ultra Rare. That is insane. What are the freaking odds of this happening? Wow. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So we have five hauls. We had 10 packs. We've only opened nine. We have one more pack to go. Oh my gosh, we're, we're high five into that for sure. Wow. Oh, and a flower wolf too is our fusion. That is also a really good fusion because the good old fashioned instant fusion target. That is beautiful. Centering's not that great. A little bit larger on the bottom, but I mean, it's packed fresh. This is gorgeous. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that, is, that is insane. We have our flower wolf there and a handful of normal monsters. Wow. These packs have been insane. Okay, let's go, <laughs> let's go and move over to our last our last one here. We have two more booster packs to go. Let's go and see. Oh, <laughs> the foil one to stay inside of its uh of its packaging here. So we have a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries Ultra Rare. Nice hand trap. So all of the foils so far have been great. Invasion of Chaos. Not bad. Smashing Ground. Good old fashioned Smashing Ground. People started running that over Fisher back in the good old days. Ooh, uh, this one is cool. This was the replacement for Hayabusa Knight because it can't change, can't change, uh, they can't change a heart of it, so they can't change control of this card. The monster of this card can attack twice, yep. Uh, control this cannot switch. Yes. So this is better because high boost was a thousand and this was 1300, but this came out After right? Yeah, when, when, was, when was Hayabusa? Gosh Pretty sure Hayabusa came first and then I then he came out. Otherwise, I'm stupid. I was why was I running Hayabusa night? <laughs> I'm pretty I'm like 99% sure there was no other alternatives uh, other than Hayabusa. All right, so here we are everybody our last booster pack the legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon has been very kind to us today, and thank you, the power of Jerry Beansman and Bolt Penguin over there. And all of your positive energy has been making these pulls absolutely epic. The 13th Grave. We have a uh, creepy spiked up whale. Let's go and see what our last card is. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you're going to pull a non-foil, why not pull the best spell card you could possibly pull? And in my opinion, this is the best spell card because there's no time you can't play it unless you have no cards left in your deck, which is very slim. Pot of Greed. You play this card and you draw two cards in your deck. This card has been banned forever. What a epic card to pull as our last booster pack. Really awesome looking. Draw two cards. In my opinion, the best all-around spell card to ever be printed into the card game. Wow. That is insane. This whole opening was absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Give this video a like, comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified when I post future openings. It comes in handy because I'm gonna be announcing the winner of those beautiful giveaways. We have this godly relinquish and ritual spell card combo right here. And then we have Chaos Emperor Dragon and the Black Luster Soldier. And then of course, I mean, you gotta just toss in some godliness right here. So what's wrong with the Winged Dragon, Raw Sly for the Sky Dragon, Oblis the Tormentor? 
nothing. They're god cards. They're the best cards in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram, say hi to me, and I will always say hi back. Jobber here is signing out. <laughs>